Well, hello and welcome to our live coverage on what is, of course, a very big day on the American continent. It is the opening day of this great competition, the great party featuring 12 nations, and the turnout reflects the significance. The atmosphere, a real treat for those who are part of it. It is indeed special. Brazil looking for a fast start to get things done early here. Well, Peter, both of these teams will take to the pitch with a three-point focus. Ambition is fresh and strong, and each will want to go deep into the competition, so neither will be looking to come out of this with a, a flawed game plan. This has to be assured and close to their best. So we're up and running. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Neymar. Neymar, surely. He has an array of skills that can elevate the quality of a match or, or change its course with a flash of green. That's a pop! Fabinho. And it's Firmino. Looking to hit the front line. Firmino. Vidal. Tries to locate someone up front. Good idea, just poorly executed. Eduardo Vargas. And next going for goal! He scored! What a start. And what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before, and no doubt they'll work it again. Chile take the early advantage. Danilo. Forward it goes. And Firmino! A oh, great save, real class. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. And it's hoisted clear. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? It's Casemiro. Fabinho. Firmino. Danilo. Timely intervention. Chance! In it goes! Brazil are back in business! your thoughts well, I think the keeper has every reason to rip into that defense for allowing him to get into such a good position And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, there's resilience for you, Peter. As a side, they never lost focus despite the setback. And this is thoroughly merited for me. Now they can go on better, possibly. Alexis Sanchez. Sanchez plays it forward. Now it's Vargas! Oh, denied brilliantly! Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Massive lead! Harmlessly behind. Danilo. And it's played forward. Eduardo Vargas. Now it's Roberto Firmino. 
Arankis. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. Patel plays it out to the wing. Sanchez drives it. He's gone for it! Back of the net! And they've got their lead back. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. So we have a breakthrough, now how will things develop from here? Good challenge, he just stood firm. And it's Vargas. Isla. Brazil already trailing and we've barely begun. Isla. He's got options out wide. Well read, he sorted that out. Firmino tries to get it forward quickly. Vital. And here's Alexis. It's Alexis Sanchez! And for a moment, time stood still. Well, it was just some way we're passing that let the opposition in then. And I have to say, a very lucky escape. You lose it there, you expect to be punished. Hoists it forward. And it's Vital. Eduardo Vargas. Vital. Vital hits that long. It's out for a goal kick. Casemiro, midway through the first period, and it's looking quite a game here. And here's Roberto Firmino, has a hit! Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Well, he has great set-piece prowess. I think you know what's coming, but stopping it, another matter. Neymar with a real chance here. Produced a beauty. So all square and not for the first time. Well, I think the players will be buoyed by the fact that they've managed to level things in a hurry. Tails most definitely up now. Vargas out to the left, it goes. That's been one straight back. Fabinho concedes a free kick for that. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Arangis hits one! Good hit, kept the keeper honest. Fabinho. Questions were asked, and he's given the answers. Mattel goes looking. Forward it goes. 
Vidal. And here's Vargas. Now it's Sanchez. Oh, he's brought him down, and it is a penalty. Brazil present their opponents with the best possible chance here. And that's going to be a booking. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal there. Time for a cool head, and that is precisely what he showed. You could feel the tension as he stepped up to take that, but it didn't bother him, and he tucked it away perfectly. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. And it's Oriana. Alexandro does well there, alert. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. That's not the ball he wanted. And it's Oriana. And there's a long ball. And they've been caught out. Vargas! He's pulled off a fine save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. And it's played forward. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. Neymar. Oh, pleasingly open affair so far. Goals wherever you look. Gets the better of his man. Mattel gets into the right position to intercept. And it's Oriana. Going through. That was no routine save. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Alexis Sanchez. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. With Arangis. In for a hefty challenge. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. And it's Vargas. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. And it's Oriana. He's found his man. Now it's Arangis. Arangis! It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. And he's there to cut it out. He's been bundled over, that is a foul. Alexis Sanchez. That intervention was very necessary. Firmino. Good run through the middle, but he needs support. Keeper sends it forward. Arangis plays it out to the flank. Oriana. Right on the edge of the penalty area. What's he giving here? Well, the referee has given a free kick just outside the box. And no surprise, that's a booking. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? And 
And he's going to Rex. It's anyone's ball. Vital. That's surely a foul free kick. Going for goal! Up for the header! Decent enough try. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Brazil are still behind as we reach out for half-time. And it's Fabinho. Plays it back. He's had a shot! Oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. Danilo gets it back. Mattel plays it forward. Fabinho. Half time getting close now. Cuts it out. Isla. Mattel tries to get it forward quickly. Vital. Eduardo Vargas has been found. Dinks one in, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Out to the right. Edward shapes to shoot! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and very nearly made them pay. Real chance! And he's there to make a great save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes work ultra sharp. And it's Arangis. <laughs> Cut out in the nick of time. Neymar already, of course, on the score sheet. Forward it goes. Neatly flicked on. Eduardo Vargas pushes to get on the end of it. Eduardo Vargas. Neymar. And it's the whistle for half-time. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out from... Shoots! It's in! And with that goal comes comfort! What about that, Jim Beglin? Yeah, and all engineered, Peter, by some smart running and movement. That's already something to admire, but how about the pass? Just wonderful. Loved it. Made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Well, that has changed the dynamic somewhat. The crowd are calling for this to be put to bed. There's little sympathy about. And here's Roberto Firmino. Good ball, it's found its target. Orellana. Hoists it forward. Chile get it back again. Casemiro did well to step in there, that was more than necessary. Fabinho. 
And here's Roberto Firmino. And we can get that clear. Marquinhos puts it back. Orellano. Now the counter. He's picked him out. Vargas! And more, and more, and more. And surely that settles it. Chile are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. That defence must be sick of the sight of him. He's been persistent and ruthless all game. He just hasn't stopped working. So now the difference is three. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looked foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. And he is going into that little black book. Lightning, lightning just might strike again here. He's shaping up to have a crack from here. of a goal they're back within reach oh that is a bit special Brazil give themselves a fighting chance back in with a shout Isla and it's played forward Arangis, that's great strength on the ball. Marquinhos is steaming forward. He gets past his man. And that has been clubbed away. Brazil have it back and they can go again. Now surely. Danger averted for now. That's nice. And it's Fabinho. And he's cut it out. Arangis. Mattel. Mattel goes looking. Neymar looking as though he's being given special treatment here. Treatment he could well do without. Yeah, and they finally reacted, but they could have been more switched on before he, he scored. Orellana. Defence has got rid of that. Firmino. Neymar. Orellana. Eduardo Vargas. Still they trail, and time is ticking away. Fabinho plays it forward. Neymar. Alexandro. He's got away. Oh, real... And shoots! Thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. This is threatening to become a really good game. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Oh, good interception. <laughs> Watch of an hour into the second half. Brazil have hit a quick-fire double here and are well and truly back in business.
Drives it towards the front. He's made sure that that won't get through. Danilo. Played out to the right. Brazil are definitely going about this the right way. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Vidal. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well played, he saw that coming. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Richarlison. Richarlison was alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. He's through the middle. Alexis Sanchez. Danilo drives it forward. And it's Firmino. Hoists it forward. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Alexandro. Brazil getting a lot of touches here, but they're not making much progress. Vidal with a good steal, well played. He doesn't get the pass he's looking for. And that is as far as they're going to go. He's left his man. Sanchez is the guilty party there. Marquinhos. Danilo. Knocks it away. He's in! Shot at goal! It's in! They're seeing no way back, but they are level! The understanding between those two plays a big part in that, and releasing the run on side proved the key ingredient. This has become one superb game of football. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition looked... Comp oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. Alexandro. Marquinhos. Casemiro. Danilo. Richarlison. Didn't catch it right. Neymar looking to penetrate opposition lines. certainly tested the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. And helps available out wide. Arangis. Great leap! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. And it's played forward. And it's Neymar. Breaks on here. Neymar could move up a gear here. Gabriel Jesus. It's a brilliant interception. Bravo gets good distance on it. 
Isla. Richarlison has a goal! Goal! Brazil! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that play. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Brazil get themselves into the lead. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Casemiro, Marquinhos, Fabinho, Gabriel Jesus, Danilo. Could be a chance, has a hit! Gabriel Jesus, and here's Neymar, goes for goal! It's a keeper's nightmare, Peter. He just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him. So the lead now is two. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Chile uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Marquinhos gets his foot in there. Done very well to intervene. And it's Vidal. And here's Vargas. Gets away from his opponent. Eduardo Vargas. Great strength. Too strong for his opponent. Over to the left. Lofted into the middle. And through to the goalkeeper. Alexandro. Alexandro goes looking. Fabinho. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Richarlison. They've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Into the last five minutes. Well positioned to make that interception. Danilo. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Now it's Sanchez. Eduardo Vargas. Eduardo Vargas beats the offside trap. Eduardo Vargas flings it across. Neymar. Alexandro. And it's Aranguis. Marquinhos battles to win it back. Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal-saving. And he's there to hoof it away. Danilo. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Now it's Sanchez. He's lost off the ball. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. 
flocking round their fallen colleague and they look worried. That was travelling. This official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Arangis. And he has been fouled there. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Balls come loose. Vidal. That's pretty clear. It is a foul. He knew what was coming. That's a yellow card. Some of them aren't happy with that challenge and they're getting involved. Steady. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical. You have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity. Arangis! Oh, it's a beauty! A finish right from the top draw! Deep, deep into injury time! Dispatched expertly, nicely done. Chile give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. And there goes the final whistle. <laughs>